you made me wear this suit, I normally surf in California, and I would rather be in board shorts. But, uh, <laughs> so there you go. So anyway. Oh, okay, I'm back to my five hours and 60 seconds speech. <laughs> It was an interesting situation, and I'll just touch on it quickly, in that we negotiated for several weeks, and we were in Mexico City, and uh, then I finally had to play the one part I never liked playing, and that was simply telling them, you know what, we're going back to the United States, you can keep your girl. And in the background, the mother, you could hear her going, no, we want that money, we want that money. And then they finally decided to meet, of course, we made the exchange, we got the girl, came back, in the airport with little red views. She was holding my hand and she goes, you know, Mr. Bob, she goes, no, I'm kind of shy. I think I'm just away. And she says, but I have to tell you that if I had to have another dad, I wish you'd be my dad. Now, why is that? Why could something so terrible be happening in our country, and we have good hearts, and we not really be doing something about it as a majority? And I believe that once you understand how we got to where we are to be so apathetic, you'll be able to do something about it. Not exactly Jason Bourne, but <laughs> or was it Sean Connery? I can promise you that. I had to understand what motivates people. I had to understand it better than most people. In fact, I would venture to say that I probably know more about each of you than you know about yourself in the first 15 minutes that I get introduced to you. I understand on good authority that there was this thing about blue jeans. And somebody was shipping blue jeans into the Soviet Union. Why? Because blue jeans represent what? America, freedom, freedom of speech. How many people know what this is? Do you know what the flow chart's about? Nothing. I just put it up there to see if you guys are paying <laughs> Find that hard to believe? but there are pockets where there are people not aware. Some are aware, but they can't handle the reality. It is emotionally disturbing. I'm telling you what, when I go in the field, and I see it over and over and over and over again, it is not that I have a heart of steel, trust me. How many people know what this is? It's a milk bottle. There was a time when we used to get our milk in a milk bottle, same glass. We drank the milk out of it, we washed it out, we saved it, and we put it back and it got refilled, right? It had value, didn't it? Because every day, don't worry, piece of paper. I'll get back we take a piece of paper, we use it, we throw it away. We eat food, we throw it away. We drink out of a can, we throw it away. We throw it away, we throw it away, we throw it away, we throw it away. One thing I learned out of many, many years of my Aikido class was if you practice simple things over and over and over, after a while they become second nature. And that's what we do. Every one of us, including myself, every day, we throw something away. So you're used to throwing things away without a second thought. We didn't used to be that way, but we're a consumer society. You have to take care of the problem in Iowa. You have to take care of the problem on your street, in your neighborhood, in your city, in your town. And if you're not getting the results you need, then you knock doors down until you get satisfaction. And that you will say in your state, no more of you. No more human trafficking. No more child abductions. No more nothing in our state. This is Iowa. You do not come to our state and do this. That can only be accomplished 